Little Johnny's in school and all he does is fart all day long. Teacher says, little Johnny, you need to stop. You're disrupting my class. Well, about 10 minutes later, he lets out another big one. And she says, yeah, all right, you come in after school. We need to talk. So little Johnny comes in. She says, what gifts? Why are you doing this? He says, because I'm the best farter in all the land and no one can beat me. She says, all right, if I can beat you, will you quit? He says, I will, but I don't think you can. So she takes this construction paper. She lays it down on the ground. She takes some baby powder, puts two piles. She said, whoever can blow away the most with their fart wins. So Johnny gets all set up. He farts and he leaves just a little bit of the baby powder. Teacher goes over there. She squats and blows it all away. He says, all right, I'll stop doing it. But you got to show me how you did that so well. So she puts down another pile. She squats down and just as she's about to fart, little Johnny looks up her dress and he says, well, no wonder you're able to beat me. You got a double barrel. Little Johnny was in class and the teacher says, hey, little Johnny, I got a riddle for you. What kind of tree can you fit in your hand? Little Johnny thinks about it and he says, well, teach, I'm pretty sure you can put all trees in your hand if they're seeds. Teacher smiles and says, that's, that's pretty good. But the correct answer is a palm tree. I like the way you're thinking. Well, Johnny says, all right, teach, I got one for you. I'm at least six inches long. You always put me in your mouth. It's always best to spit and never swallow. And I'm a whole lot more fun if I vibrate. Teacher says, little Johnny, you are in big trouble. You go to the principal's office. Well, Johnny says, what for? I'm a toothbrush. But I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> hey, John, want to hear a joke? Yeah. Little Johnny's in class, and the teacher said, little Johnny, tell me a story with a moral in it. Well, Johnny thinks about it. He says, all right, I got one. There's this horse and this chicken that are playing out in the meadow. Well, the horse ends up falling into some quicksand and he's sinking quickly. So he tells the chicken, run back to the farm, get the farmer and get me out of here. So the chicken runs around. He can't find the farmer anywhere. So he hops in the BMW, backs the BMW up to the quicksand, ties a rope around the bumper, throws the rope to the horse, horse grabs on, chicken jumps in and pulls him out of there. Horse is so thankful. A couple weeks go by, they're out playing in the meadow again. And this time the chicken falls in. He says, run back to the farm and get the farmer. The horse thinks, well, I can just stand over the top of this quicksand and you can grab a hold of my pecker and I can pull you out. So that's exactly what happens. Horse stands over top of the chicken. Chicken grabs a hold of the penis of the horse and the horse just walks away and pulls him out. Teacher says, uh, that's a weird story, but what's the moral? She says, he says, well, teach the moral is when you're hung like a horse, you don't need a BMW to pick up chicks. <laughs> hey, John, want to hear a joke? Yep. So little Johnny's out at the bar, and he meets this girl, and they start talking, and one thing leads to another, and she comes over to his house. They start watching TV, start making out, and before you know it, they start taking their clothes off. Little Johnny pulls down his pants, and she sees his knees, and they look terrible. She says, what's wrong? He says, yeah, when I was younger, I had a bad case of the measles. She said, you mean measles? He said, no, I mean measles. She doesn't want to, you know, slow things down. So they keep making out. And pretty soon he's taking off his socks and she looks at his nasty feet. And he says, yeah, when I was younger, I had a bad case of tolio. She says, you mean polio? He says, no, I mean tolio. She says, okay, whatever. And she keeps kissing him. Well, it comes time for him to pull off his boxers. And she looks down. And she goes, oh, let me guess. When you were growing up, you had a bad case of the small cocks. <laughs> Little Johnny and his buddy Tony had been friends for 30 years, and Tony ended up slipping on some ice and breaking his leg, and he was laid up at home. So Little Johnny went over to go visit him, and Tony was sitting there in the recliner, and he says, Little Johnny, you mind going upstairs and grabbing my slippers? My feet are fucking cold, and it's hard for me to walk up there. Little Johnny says, Sure. So he goes up the steps, and just as he gets to the top of the steps, is Tony's two college twin daughters that are home for Christmas break, stark naked. They're like, what are you doing up here? Well, Johnny says, oh, you, your dad sent me up here to have sex with you. They're like, both of us? He says, yeah, both of you. They're like, I don't believe you. Prove it. Well, Johnny screams downstairs, both of them? Tony says, hell yeah, what's the point of just fucking one? 
Hey, Dad, want to hear a joke? Oh, yeah. So little Johnny was a mailman. And it was his last day on the job. So he was going around, and people were giving him money and some baked goods and all kinds of stuff until, until he got to his very last stop, and it was a gorgeous housewife that invited him in for lunch. After lunch, she said, well, little Johnny, did you enjoy that? And he says, oh, yes, it was amazing. She says, well, why don't you come on upstairs for dessert? So he heads on upstairs, and she has the best sex with him he's ever had. And he says, what was that all about? And she hands him a dollar. He says, uh, well, what's the dollar for? She says, well, that's from my husband. He says, okay, well, what do you mean? Well, I asked my husband what we should get you for your last day on the job, and he said, fuck him, give him a dollar. My idea was to give you lunch. <laughs>